Item C, Resolution of the City Council authorizing the issuance of a cabaret permit to the Willie Mays Skybox Sport Lounge, 6005 Shell Mound, Suite 200. Chief James. Uh, Mayor Davis, members of the council, this is the second public hearing of the night uh, uh, renewing a cabaret permit. Uh, this one is for the Willie Mays Skybox Sports Lounge. Uh, located in the marketplace, 6,000 Shell 6,005 Shellmont Street. Uh, the, de the department has done an investigation, uh, and our investigation has revealed uh, nothing that would justify the denial of the permit. Uh, that we uh, we have had uh, calls at the uh, uh, business uh, for uh, I I can't recall any noise calls. Uh, just general crowd calls uh, of, of that sort, uh, not, not nothing a, of a raucous nature. Um, uh, in addition, on number 12, as Mr. Biddle pointed out on the previous one, uh, the date would be valid December 31st, 2007, instead of 2005. And, so. and your recommendation? Um, is are we, uh, our recommendation is to uh, approve the permit. Thank you, Chief James. Public hearing is open. Would anyone like to speak to this uh, permit? I again, we're in support. They've been a good member and uh, they brought a lot of life to town. We support it and we support you, what Bob. the chief said. Thank you. The public hearing is closed. Do I hear a, resol uh, a motion? Yeah, I move approval, but I just have one question. Uh, um, can we make these dates more realistic? I mean, the permit exp expires in December and here we are, you know, um, March and, and, and we're taking it up, so that means you're in violation for three months or whatever it is? Well, it, it falls on the workload of the police department, and it's just a matter of putting that in, in these investigations uh, into the renewal, uh, into the investigators that are also doing the investigations of our crime work. We, we try as quickly as we can. We, we try to get these out in November, October, November of the previ previous year so that they can come in and we can get them in in a timely fashion. But we, we have not been successful uh, in, the, in the years that I've been involved with cabaret permits to get them here much before March or April. So I guess my recommendation would be we should add language that expires on December 31st or as soon as it's brought to the city council just to make it, you know, just to make it clean, that's all. But Well, I, I mean, we can discuss. I, that's not something I would recommend in the event you get into a situation where you've got a permit that's becoming a problem and you've sort of you've opened up the door for that permit just to continue to operate um, you know until unless you get to a revocation hearing I would rather be in a situation where you're trying to enforce a situation where they have to come in for a new permit and you can then condition it as opposed to trying to modify an existing permit or doing a, a, a revocation which is a it's a much different legal standard in terms of uh, if somebody challenges the council's actions particularly the permit holder it well, wasn't trying to make this complicated is so. there a second yeah. to the resolution the motion I'll second it but I actually have a question for the for the operator okay hi good evening, good evening madam mayor could you introduce yourself members. James Sims, I'm the attorney. Last time I was here, we were last, and we're last again. So here yeah. we go. <laughs> and, and we promised that we wouldn't have a Denny's operation. Uh huh. All right. Um, I, I realize uh, that my question is really more on the operation side, so maybe that's not fair to you as the attorney. We have our general manager here as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Could, could you come up? Absolutely. I'd, I'd like to. I, I have to confess I haven't been to your venue yet, and it's something that I want to do. Would you introduce yourself? Okay, my name is Lisa Mungel. I'm the general manager. Okay. How, how just overall, how is the club doing? Uh, it's doing a lot better. At first, when we first opened up, it was really slow. It's hard to get people to notice inside the public market area, so our business was really, really slow for a while. We started doing um, jazz nights, like Friday jazz, and coming into like um, live music and stuff like that, so the, we basically promote live music and jazz we try to keep it down more of like a jazzy blues not really rock or hard or anything like that so okay but but financially things are, are going better yeah they're going yeah. a lot better for us yeah. okay thank you you're welcome uh, is that a second to the resolution uh, I, I okay uh, without exception the motion passes moving on to